What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I have this lovely wore out old 04 6 liter that came out of old green, finally got the parts and got her back together. But I thought this would be an awesome time to show you guys how to air leak test a 6 liters high pressure oil system. Everybody has heard about doing the air leak test, but I don't know if everybody's familiar with how to do it. And tonight we're gonna go over some of those things and what to hear, what to look for, and how to do it. So let's go. Alright, thanks so much for coming back tonight guys. So, what we have here tonight is an 04, early 04 built 6 liter. We have two different styles of high pressure oil pumps in 6 liters. We have the Shepard cast iron pump, which is in 05 all the way up to 10 in the Econoline. And we have the Rex Roth aluminum high pressure oil pump that is in the early first 03 6 liters and as production went on to 03 model year changed to 04 some of the characteristics were carried over to the 04 model year but yet still featured 05 under the valve cover oil manifolds, stand pipes, but yet still used an 03 style pump. And you guys can even hear the noise change that this injection system makes. Um, if any of the techs out there know uh, what I'm talking about, if you had two of these engines side by side and you quickly, quickly brought the engine up off idle just and, and you know, wum, 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 excuse me, just listen to the response of how the engine responds and the sounds that it makes, you guys will know and hear the difference between pumps. So what we want to do is we need to charge this whole system full of air. If we charge it full of air, then we can hear and sometimes even see a high pressure oil leak. It just depends on how bad it is. So we can't do this with the engine running. We can't see the oil flowing. So to do it with the engine off, it can either be hot, it can be cold, I've done it either way. Um, but we need to charge this whole log, the whole system with air. So in the high pressure oil system, we have a door and that door is the regulator. This regulator is going to open and close per the PCM and load and yada 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 and will give us our injection pressure. This pump just wants to spin, it just wants to build pressure. So we need to control that via this regulator and like I said, when we need uh, wide open throttle, you know, we're gonna be at 37, 38, so maybe even 3900 PSI. This is our door. So in order for us to achieve high pressure oil and all of our air to get into the system, we need to close our door all the way so that we can get all that air charged through the whole system. We need to get it up in our logs. If we leave this normal, this is a normally open solenoid, if we just leave this how it's sitting and go and charge it, it's just going to dump all that oil back into the crankcase, that oil, that air back into the crankcase. We want to shoot that air through the pump through our oil logs, up our standpipes, and check each of our injectors. So there's two ways to do that. Either you can air leak test this using a scan tool, or what I have done for the many of years I've been working on six liters is I took a IPR connector from an old harness and just crudely, I, this is like way back in the day and I haven't changed it, this is what I was working with this whole time. Uh, but Nonetheless, this is what I use when uh, we're off the job, if we're on the job and don't have access to the computer or whatnot. Uh, this is my computer. I am the computer. I am going to give this power and ground. It's an on and off solenoid and we are going to full field it and 
command it closed so that we have all the air. So now that I said that, there's one important thing you need to know. When you full field this, it is good to only be on for no more than two minutes. You don't want to burn this thing out. It's never full field all the time. It's always modulating uh, back and forth and more so towards, uh, you know, the 20-ish, 21, 22, 23% uh, hot at idle. So uh, just note to self, when you're testing, just make sure, you know, you haven't walked away and still left this uh, connected. So... The next step that you want to do is you're going to want to come over to the passenger side of the truck and usually you will see your ICP sensor. I do not know the thread size to the ICP sensor. Unfortunately for you, it might be a little difficult to figure that out, but in my master fuel pressure test kit, one of these fittings was the exact same size as the ICP sensor and I tried looking at the numbers on there and uh, there was nothing there but it allowed me to screw in an air fitting which then allows me to charge the high pressure oil system with shop air so we are going to hook up our hose but first make sure you have your power source ready obviously i am not near the vehicle's battery so uh you know it doesn't matter if you hook the air up first or anything but i want to have this primed up uh, and ready to go battery charger jump pack is not on right now but like i said what you're going to do is you're going to put this in here right now you can already hear it dumping back into the crankcase even a little gurgle through there maybe okay so that is why i'm telling you you need to full field this right now we're just dumping back into the crankcase so let's go ahead i'm going to turn this on and see if we can hear an air change noise as soon as I apply power. Okay, I'm turning my jump pack on and I'm gonna give it power in three, two, one. Okay, you hear that air leak noise change? This is when you're gonna look, I'm sorry, this is where you're gonna listen for air leak. You can take the oil breather off and listen for gurgling going through there. Other times you can take the oil fill off and listen for gurgling here. Uh, right now, currently, I don't hear any leaks. Sometimes it has been known that if you had a bad Rex Roth pump, the aluminum style 03 pump, if there was a problem with it, with a valving or something internal, you'd be hearing gurgling coming up through the turbo oil drain. And I know there's air rushing noise through this cooling system bleeding procedure this guy's doing, but I don't hear any gurgling coming from that drain tube. So right now I'm gonna take power off. Let's shut it off. Go back down and you can hear it start to make its noise again. I hope you guys can. You can hear it down there in the crankcase. Um, I'm going to simulate a high pressure oil concern and if you guys remember the video that I had uh, up of the Econoline that I showed you guys how to do the Bank One passenger side injectors, uh, remember that dummy plug with that blue out O-ring? This is classic, classic. I wish I wouldn't have thrown that away. It would have been a good uh, uh, representation of what your high pressure oil leak would sound like if you had a blue out dummy plug. So I'm going to take um, that side apart. I'm going to mess something up so I have a leak on that side and then you guys can see uh, or hear rather what the difference in sound is going to be on what side of the engine so let's do that okay I've mocked up my problem and what you want to do when you start off doing your air leak test you want to at least figure out what side of the engine is it coming from is it coming from the driver's side is it coming from the passenger side sometimes if you have the 05 and up I've saved it. Sometimes on 05 and up, you have this snap to connect fitting from the pump to the branch tube. This screws into the pump and this can fail and that pretty much sits just like this. So if you have a leak here, you need to isolate. Is it passenger side, driver side? Is it this leaking? So the, the technique that I have found 
to use is a stethoscope and I've gotten a certain spot on the aluminum cover with the cast iron pump that would be the shepherd pump that's the good one the gurgling sound I can hear right in the corner of it and it's just kind of like a I can't describe it to you it sounds like a really really muffled gurgling sound and I feel confident when I hear that particular sound right here that I have a leak underneath that high pressure pump cover so now that I have I really want this truck to be shut off but let's see if I can get this truck to quiet down all right we'll try it anyway so like I was explaining I've already mocked up my problem on the passenger side and we are going to again air leak test so we have figured out with the valve covers on what side of the engine the leak is and the leak right now is on the passenger side so you're in the truck you rip off the valve cover and you start with your air leak test again okay so your first inclination is do I have something leaking here? You guys, you guys heard what it sounded like when we didn't have this truck running and how how hollow it was sounding when it was just kind of dumping back into the block. So we can definitely hear an air leak noise present on this side. So either with your scan tool or your jumper leads such as myself, gonna give it power in three, two, one, okay. IPR is fully closed, gonna give us all of our pressure, all of our air to our suspect leak point. And I don't know if you guys can see or not, but what I wound up doing, I wonder if I turn my light on, you guys can see, can you see it? Yes, you can. There's your leak right there. I cut the upper D-ring on the injector to pretend it was a leak. And this is a potential leak point that I have seen and I have repaired. You'd have to replace the injector. Um, others might say there may be an aftermarket company that provides just the O-rings, but Ford, the uh, only way to get it is with the injector. Um, this isn't as common as I usually see when this O-ring blows out. So. Hearing the air noise is very key and crucial to determining where your leak point is because I can't say I have multiple leaks on one side at a time. It's usually one thing, the upper D-ring or this, but if you find the leak, you're obviously going to go through that whole side, evaluate everything, make sure everything's you know in visual good shape. Um, and then repair as necessary. And then before you put it back together, you're gonna re-air leak test it again and go through the same thing. Um, and listen through the driver's side. Now right now, we know that we don't have nothing leaking on the driver's side. I don't hear no hissing. And I don't feel I need to uh, go through that and, and, and show you guys. But I want you to reference that Econoline video that I showed you and you'll see that dummy plug. If your O-ring looks like that, then you're gonna need to replace uh, that dummy plug um, and fix your high pressure oil leak. So uh, this is something I wanted to highlight for you guys. I don't know if anybody's ever had to do their air leak test. This is something that can be done at home. Um, it can be done uh, at, uh, at the dealer. Uh, when you take your truck in, this is something that we have to do, but uh, you are gonna need shop air in order to perform this test. So, and that connector i suppose if you could turn this around in the truck just like i did here and got some pins and did something i suppose you could rig up something if you didn't have that connector shell but uh um uh, this has obviously worked out uh well for me tell me what you think about this in the comment section guys uh, if you guys have done this to your own truck or if you've had to pay somebody like me to diagnose your six liter high pressure oil leak and why it does not start thanks so much for watching and make sure to like comment sub and share i'll see you guys next friday six liters out